What is up everybody? It is Jack with Team Aquascape. We have Jack Danley, Luis, and Udi out here in Lombard, Illinois, and we are gonna be building a pondless waterfall. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So we have a small little pond off this patio right up against this house and we're gonna be coming in here and redoing this waterfall. The homeowner two years ago said that it's been leaking and finally we're coming out here and we're gonna be tearing out all this rock and gravel and this old liner and we're gonna be putting in a new piece of liner. We're probably gonna have to end up seaming considering this waterfall here is only like a four inch drop. So it's gonna be kind of close. But we're gonna come in here, save all the plants, drain some of this water out, pull all these rocks out, stage it on top of our mats here and then we're gonna be coming in with some bigger rocks for our character stones and for our our waterfall and give it the aquascape touch so as always we have our fabric down and our mats because we don't want to damage this awesome patio that they have sitting next to the pond and this shaded garden is just absolutely gorgeous back here but we have our four mats on our fabric the guys are bringing back all our stuff right now so we just want to stage everything we have our clean out pump and tank to stage all our water that we're going to drain out of this pond and in case we have to add any water back into it that way we have the water on hand we got our shovels our wheelbarrows our buckets everything that we need the product is out in the truck and i will show you guys in a little bit of what we we have so yeah we have a spillway sitting up top there and then a 2500 biofall sitting on the right side and we are just going to be giving it a facelift so a little update as we go on and stay tuned so this is what we have to work with today we have the guys unloading the truck right now we brought a dingo just in case if we need it probably from looking at what we have we're probably not going to end up needing it we have all our product back there so we have a 15 by 10 piece of liner and then we bought a bigger piece of liner with just in case i think it's a 20 by 20 piece of liner and that's what luis has right now we got our lights because he wants to add some more lights to this and then i believe we have a bigger size pump on this so we have our pallet of rock back here there's a nice weather limestone that we brought from the shop and then roughly a uh, half ton of gravel to give it that touch that we're looking for and that we can add some more gravel so stay tuned and we will keep you up here In this instance, like I said earlier, we're going to have to end up seeming. You can tell that there is two or three liners as of right now in this feature. So you have one coming back from the biofalls. That's all in here. There's another one in this stream here. And then there's another one up in that spillway kind of dumping into this pooling area here. So we're going to come in here. We're going to cut straight across here, seam on our new piece. And then that's going to go up to the biofalls and spillway. And then we're just going to have to foam up the sides. And then that way um, it ensures that everything's enclosed in the liner and that we're not worrying about low edge or anything like that. Like that in between these two features. So Jack and Luis are coming in here and we are, are getting ready to seam on our piece of liner. We came in here, we took out that spillway. We're gonna end up moving it to right where the tamper is at. So we moved it up just probably a foot or so. That way it looks a little bit better. And that way it's not so crammed back in that corner so we could get a nice retaining wall back behind that biofalls. But I got some dirt back behind that biofalls so that way it's all retained and stuff and it looks a lot better. We're gonna come in, do the seam. We ended up carving back this pooling area and this pooling area down two inches just to that we have a nice pooling area and that way the water flows up and flows over this rock and not comes down and like shoot almost so Luis is going to come in here and he's just going to scrub down our liner get it all nice and clean we're going to come in throw our seam tape cover tape and we will be ready to go we'll throw that 10 by 15 piece of liner in here and we're going to be rocking and rolling we are i think actually going to be able to keep our 10 by 15 which was originally on the order we just brought a bigger piece a 20 by 20 piece just in case if we needed it but i don't think we we're going to need it considering that from this point here up to the bio falls is six feet so we'll in total with all our drops and everything like that so we're going to run our 10 foot going up to the hill and then run our 15 from the house to the walkway. I don't know if I mentioned earlier in the video, but we finally found the leak upon pulling apart all our liner and everything like that. When we were up here in the biofalls, we found that the grommets that hold the liner up against the biofalls was corroded and the seal was compromised. So that was allowing the water to seep between the biofalls and the liner itself. So that's obviously a huge leak and we needed to correct that. So fortunately we were able to find the leak instead of just going in here, pulling everything apart and not finding anything. We were able to find something. So I'm able to tell the whole homeowner and that way the homeowner is more aware of what was going on because he was just kind of curious to know what was the issue with everything so we are correcting that well 
the guys are taking lunch. I had to give you guys a quick update. We got the seam in, the seam pretty well, just time consuming as always. You wanna make sure that your prep work is key with everything. You wanna make sure that that liner is nice and clean and that you don't have any of this calcium build up anywhere. So you can see how there's calcium here, but then all closer to the seam, it's all clean. And you really can't tell that there has been any calcium or dirt on the liner. So you wanna make sure there's a nice good contact there. And we got our 10 by 15 piece of liner in. We're gonna come in lunchtime. We're gonna set a frame rock here. We're able to keep that rock there. We just gotta foam back behind that rock here, get a frame rock here. And then we're gonna probably build this waterfalls first, get our biofall set. And that way it's hooked up and that way the silicone can dry while we're focusing on the spillway and the smaller waterfall on this side. And then we have a small little hump that we have to play with, with foam. That way no water from this side, it goes onto that side and we keep the water in their perspective areas. Cause we don't want water coming out of the wall. It would just look really weird. It's not like that would cause a leak considering that we have a one piece of liner going from this side all the way to that side over there. So in case it does ever dam up or anything like that, it'll just spill over and stay inside the liner. But yeah, little update for you guys and we will be back after lunch. We are making quick work of building these waterfalls. Fortunately, we have all the rock sitting right next to where we're working at, and it's not that big of an area, so thank God we don't have to do a whole lot of excavation or bringing in some massive rocks to work with. We have, they're pretty all manageable rocks. And the one thing I wanted to tell you guys is when we're building waterfalls, as you can see, Udi's down there, and Jack was standing kind of right where the viewing areas are at. He's standing up here. Instead of tracking mud up where the, the homeowner is usually at, we're trying to get eyesights and visuals on where those waterfalls are gonna be at. So we have one face and up towards the viewing area up top. And then there's gonna be another waterfall facing where I'm at because they always like to sit out here in this area. So that way you can maximize all the viewing areas and all these waterfalls you're gonna be able to see from all these windows right here, all the different profiles, the side profiles. We're gonna have one facing towards the inside and everything. So that's the one thing that you wanna do is always have somebody step back or if you're working by yourself, step back and see where your waterfalls are at because the view really doesn't matter from where Jack's at right now. It matters from where I'm at because that's where the viewing areas are at. No one's be standing on top of that rock looking at that waterfall so just want to come out here and just kind of give you guys a little tip on how we like to build our waterfalls i know you guys seen the time lapse and everything of chris always is running back and forth back and forth asking everyone's opinion on how it looks and stuff so that helps having more than one person out here so that way we can communicate to each other where the waterfalls are at and then another big thing is staging all your materials we have all our materials sitting right here and then we also have some rocks sitting up on the truck but we're waiting to haul that rock back here as we need it because those are some pretty big rocks and we don't want to use all that rock and cut off our access Access to our working areas. That's why we're working our way from this side out. So then that way we can finish this waterfall and we're not bouncing back and forth and worrying about putting holes in that liner while rolling rock up into this area here. From this angle, it sure does look like there's just a boatload of rocks in here, but there's actually some waterfalls in there and we're just, we're, we are softening up the edges right now. So let me give you guys a quick walkthrough on everything. So right here is gonna be more of like a Babley Brook style waterfall coming in here. It's gonna kind of shoot through here and then Udi has it where it's gonna kind of split around this hump in the rock and kind of come this way and this way. Water line is pretty close to this. So it's gonna kind of be almost like a shallow stream coming in here. So it's gonna look pretty cool. But we got one waterfall where Luis's leg is at right there. And then the one is tucked back right underneath that spillway right under there. So that's gonna look pretty cool because you're gonna have a double drop coming in here. All these drops are facing back towards the patio, which I was at earlier. And then up here are the bigger waterfalls. That waterfall is probably a good uh, 12 inches tall. So it's gonna dump right down. More of the veil style waterfall dumping down into this pooling area, kind of kick back and dog legging. And that's gonna tighten up. It's gonna be pretty thick coming across that rock there. Dumping down, kind of turning in and everything down in this corner here. It's gonna t well up and then dump down in here and then shoot down into this rock here, which this is our waterfall dumping into the pond. So we have everything foamed up. We're just foaming everything right now, waiting for that stuff to dry. Jack's throwing in the gravel in between our beach area. We didn't want to throw dirt there because obviously after time, that dirt is going to make its way into the pond and you're always going to see that liner. So it might be a little bit hard right now on the eye, but as soon as the homeowner gets some plants in there, it'll soften it up right now. We're going through and just tucking some of this ground cover in that he has laying around everywhere, kind of tucking in the way in the joints. That way you don't see the joints of the rock and you only see the big portion of the rock. So everything's coming together nice. 
Chris. Actually, I just talked to Chris. Their crew is actually coming out to here and helping us. So I don't think I will be finishing up the vlog, the rest of this vlog. JD will in the back over there. Oh, a little dark. He's sitting right back there. So I trust him with everything and he will give you guys a nice walkthrough once everything is done. Every time that I went on here, I've kind of given you guys a walkthrough, but once the water's running, you guys can actually see what's happening with the water and how we saw it and how we thought the water was going to react to the rocks the way we intended it. So stay tuned for that and we will see. What is going on guys? Same pond, different jack. Other jack had to leave to go do a little fix it, but it's Luis and I here doing some of the final touches. Let me turn you guys around us, show you what we got going on. So as you can see, same template we had before. Worked with a lot of the same rocks the homeowner had. We got our spillway on the left and our bio falls on the right side. I added a couple lights and I just love the way this is turning out. We had some other landscapers working in with a lot of these steppers up here. So it'll give a great 360 degrees while also from his porch up top. So yeah, we're uh, just finished off rinsing off the bio fall mats and we'll get those in and uh, plug this baby in. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, before we leave, I'm gonna give you one last look at this awesome water feature me and the rest of the crew did today. So uh, let's turn the camera around and check out some of our awesome work. So one of my favorite things is even though we have two different, two streams coming into this pond, one with the spillway and one with the biofalls, they each have a different kind of shape and sound to them. As you can see, this one uh, is a two tier drop coming out of the spillway through a, almost of a deeper stream meandering around these rocks and uh, kind of babbly brooking directly into the pond. Whereas over on our right side coming out of our biofalls, we have a much bigger and uh, louder drop coming off this nice spillway rock right here, going all the way up around this one rock, which I absolutely love, having a one watt light tucked around directly up to our biofalls. So I was also talking with the homeowner and hearing his ideas for what kind of landscaping and plants he wants to do. I'm super excited to see what he does coming back in for a year now during our cleanouts or just annual visits or whatever that may be. So I'll show you some of his ideas here. In the middle, our liner comes up and over this hump, but tucked away back behind here, we'll be able to uh, add some plants, uh, just submerge the roots for a couple little plant pockets connecting the two streams together and getting that a little grown over also up around the berm there's a couple different spots we can add some plants so should be super cool when this all grows over and really starts taking life so that is it for this project and we will see you guys on the next one stay tuned As you can see, we're watering the plants, getting all the dust and debris off the rocks, really making everything pop and come to life. So glad to see the homeowners enjoying it. And once again, we'll see you guys on the next one.